Yo, what's going on guys, Matthew Hands here, AKA The Clock Mask. I'm here to talk about the Army of the Dead prequel, Army of Thieves. This is a Zack Snyder's story directed by and starring Matthias Schweighofer. Obviously this is gonna be a non-spoiler review, I actually did film a reaction to this, which you guys will see um, when this film releases on Netflix, obviously. I'm just gonna give you guys my brief thoughts on the film, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. This is not gonna be a super overly technical review, but I will try my best to give you guys as much information as I possibly can to maybe help you decide whether you should see this movie or not. Please make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more movie reviews and reactions and TV show reviews, coverage, and all these kinds of stuff, superhero stuff, the biopics, drama, whatever. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, this is the place to be. All right, guys, so let me just get right to it. What did I think about this movie? I actually really enjoyed the movie. I didn't actually have any real, like, serious expectations about it. I just wanted to see where they were gonna go, where they were gonna go with this because obviously Army of the Dead, I personally enjoyed the film. I thought it was fun. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was as Zack Snyder as it could possibly be. And I actually, I walked away really liking that, but I wanted to see what they were gonna do with this prequel with Army of the Dead. So just from watching the trailers, I'm like, okay, this looks and feels a lot different than what we got in Army of the Dead. Everything visually looks a little bit differently. The tone was a lot different and it looked like it was gonna have a lot more comedy. Everything that we saw in the trailers exactly what you're gonna get in this movie guys um you're gonna get a really fun film that you can watch in the weekend which is obviously this dropping on the 29th so you guys are gonna get a really fun film that you can just really enjoy especially if you've seen army of the dead i think it's a great addition to the franchise as a whole and i think honestly just speaking just from these types of movies we're gonna see a really good positive shift in where these stories can go I mean, we all, we, we all love Dieter. We all love Dieter if you've seen Army of the Dead. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you watch it, especially if you're interested in watching this, because it's going to add a lot more layers and depth to this. Remember, this is a prequel to Army of the Dead. So I do feel you would benefit a lot more from seeing Army of the Dead first and then going into watching this. You actually really connect to Dieter as a main character. You, you get to connect to his perspectives, his ideas, his point of views, and where he's trying to go with things and his whole outlook on life. You get to really see how things shift. And honestly, it was quite funny. It really was honestly funny. I found myself just really smiling and laughing the entire time. And I I, I tried finding some negatives. Obviously, I, I, I say this in a lot of reviews, um, things, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for things to be better um, than what they were. And I mean, we all strive to, to, to accomplish things and to do things a lot better than we did before. So definitely I do feel like it could, it, you know, there was areas that could have been better but honestly, just as a film that you sit back and just enjoy, you want a good, nice heist film because you, you can see the inspirations of the Italian job all over this film. You can see all these different heist films and, uh, you know, rom-com, comedy, romance kind of vibes that get mixed up into the overall project. And I would say they really handle a lot of that stuff well. I mean, it is, it is a heist film. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're gonna get from this. And if you're really into heist films, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. Now, this is the first film I've actually seen from Matthias. So I don't know a lot of his directing style and everything like that, but I do feel that there was a lot of cohesion in this film in terms of telling a story, getting from point A and to B, creating a problem, finding a solution. And like Hans Zimmer would say, and especially since he also co- composed this score for the film, he would say, it's always good when you can find, you can ask a question and then find a response and then go back and forth. So I do feel um, when it comes to making a movie, being able to ask certain questions and give them, being able to give a response and being able to set up certain scenes have it lay somewhere and then that's just my layman my my little you know crazy way of explaining this but just set up something have it lay down and then you know finish it off i think is a great way and i feel like it was executed i didn't, I didn't feel lost in the movie i didn't feel like it was just this random you know just plot points being thrown all over the place i just genuinely enjoyed the movie and i thought it was fun i don't see an oscar contender here if that's what you guys are, are, are looking at i don't really i don't really see that because there was no performance that really uh, stood out to me besides uh, Matias's performance. Obviously, Natalie Emanuel, uh, she's great. We, you know, I love her. She's one of my favorite actresses. Um, obviously, first thing I've seen her in was um, at Game of Thrones and then other things. And I, I said this in uh, my my other video that I've done for this for this movie, but um, Four Weddings and a Funeral, Guilty Pleasure <laughs> series. And I absolutely loved her in that. 
So all in all, do I think you should watch this movie? Absolutely. I think you'll have a great time with it. I know a lot of you guys probably forgot that the movie was coming out, um, but I definitely think that uh, you should definitely give this movie a shot. Remember, it's releasing October 29th on Netflix, um, so make sure to be able to go ahead and uh, make sure to watch the movie. I definitely think it's a, it's a good time. Um, again, it's not a perfect film. Um, neither was Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead had its moments, but I do feel like for the type of movie that it is, especially a, a very genre specific and it's and it's very self-aware too i would say the film is very self-aware um it understands what it is uh they know what they made they, there's a couple of quips and stuff in there that i won't necessarily mention because this is a spoiler free review um but it's very self-aware it understands what it is it knows what it is and i and i actually genuinely appreciate that and i respect that because um you know you're, you're getting a very genre specific film um but one of the things i would say that i, I really loved about the movie was the usage of safe sin the whole you know theater being you know a, a safe cracker and his love for safes and as, as things that we've seen in army of the dead so i do feel like diving into some of those aspects were were really interesting and added um you know uh just just a unique factor to these to these heist films honestly and, I, and it was really chill in terms of like watching there wasn't a lot of seriousness where it's like oh my god i'm like man like I'm, I'm i'm waiting to see what's gonna happen like no it was it was it was good it was good enough and and, and again just just a flat out enjoyable so honestly guys i would rate this movie i would give it a seven out of ten and the reason i give it a seven out of ten again is because i do feel like it's a pretty run-of-the-mill average film there was a couple of you know shots that i loved and, and one of the positives that i had with this film was the location and set location and certain set pieces i feel were really good and and i love certain, some of the shooting locations and obviously the music i mean hans zimmer and and, and you know you know co co, co uh writing this and co-composing this was just absolutely i'm not at such i'm just hans zimmer fan you you guys know this about me this is this is not old like <laughs> i mean this is not new you know you know this about me so um you know just just the beginning of the film a lot of the music really draws you in and, and i really appreciate that i honestly really do appreciate that um there's certain things with the with the with the lore of the movie um that they go in and it, it it plays a very strong role within the film that i won't touch on but when you watch the movie you'll know what i'm talking about that that really adds a lot of extra i feel just character to the film so obviously you know it wasn't a perfect it wasn't a perfect film there was some shots that were that could have that i would have loved to you know be a little different but you know i'm not gonna overly nitpick it so i would just give it a pretty good average score like a seven out of ten i feel personally for my first watch of the film is where i would set it at it was just enjoyable it was great maybe seven and a half i give it <laughs> so um would i recommend the movie yes absolutely i think you'll enjoy your time i think you'll have a good time watching it definitely do watch it and um yeah man especially if you have you know some friends family whatever if you guys could just hang out and just watch it i think it's i think it's good so definitely check it out when you guys watch the movie definitely let me know your thoughts down below this is just my review this is just my thoughts and opinions so please again um what you what you will get on this channel is just me just sharing my opinions about how i feel about certain movies as i always do uh with everything that i react to and everything that i do discussions about so again this is just my opinion um feel free to to share it or not that's completely up to you and i and i definitely welcome all different opinions so once again thank you so much for watching this i hope you enjoyed my review for army of thieves i'm um, looking forward to see your guys thoughts on it when you guys see the film definitely come back and, and leave your thoughts and comments down below and uh, yeah go ahead and enjoy the film and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching clockmaster